Hello, in this video we're going to be creating a tracker which can track a ball and create a line behind it. A credit to Adrian Rosebrock for it and I'll leave a link in the description so you can download it from there. And with that said make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. So once you follow the link in the description you're going to get a zip file in your file explorer which is going to be called ball-tracking and once you press extract all extract and now we're going to have this right here we want to double click on it and in this case i'm using pycharm as my id and you want to open it and this should take a second and we're also going to be using anaconda so we create a virtual environment and download all our packages there so once you've opened up Anaconda, which I'll leave a link for in the description so you can download it, uh, you want to copy this command, which I'll also put in the description. And okay, wait one second. All right, so you want to copy it, and in this case, we're naming the virtual environment ball, and you can re rename it to anything else. And we're using Python 3.7. Just paste it in here, and this should take a bit. Alright, once you get to here, you just want to press Y and press Enter. So once it's done with that, to activate the environment, all you need to do is type conda activate ball. And you'll know you're in when it shows ball in the parentheses right here. So now we need to change our directories to the folder over here. So we're just going to copy this. And since, in, since it's in D folder for me, or D drive, I bet. Uh, for me, I'm going to type D and then colon and press enter and then I want to type in CD and paste this and now we're in full. So we want to download, uh, we want to download these packages and we have NumPy, we have OpenCV, IMUtils and so what we need to do is type those packages with or install those packages with pip so it's just pip install and then first we have numpy numpy all right so it's already satisfied so i'm pretty sure those are some of the default packages made when you create an environment and then we also want opencv so that's just pip install opencv dash all right and we also need imutils so that's just pip install imutils all right and now i think that should be it to run this, all you need to do is type in Python, and then we have to see the name of the script. In this case, it's ball underscore tracking. Underscore tracking dot py. And then we want to press enter. Here. And as you can see, there's a yellow circle around it. And it's gonna have a red line behind it showing that it's tracking, and this works really, really well. So you can move it really fast as well, and it will keep tracking. You can take it out of frame, back into frame. It works really dang well. And then if you want to exit, all you have to do is press Q, and that's pretty much it. So credit to Adrian Rosebrock again for the code I did not create it. If you want to download it, you can just click the link in the description and it'll take you to his website where you can see all the explanation of how the code works and you can download the code from there. Also, I do want to mention, check out my previous videos, which um, are in the description as well. I'll leave a link to another tracking video I made a couple weeks ago and that shows how to make a tracker from scratch. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.